Hi, hello guys, it's me CJ for uh, Cinema 4D tutorial and by the way, this is my first uh, video tutorial on Cinema 4D and today uh, we will make a pillow using V-Ray texture, lightings and camera using this uh, advanced V-Ray plugin in Cinema 4D and this is one of the best plugin used by many uh, professional 3D artists so we will try this one so let's get started so now we are on the uh, Cinema 4D on the uh, perspective view so first thing we're going to create the uh, cube so on this icon we will select the uh, cube object click hold down click and select cube so we have now our cube and let's reposition this one on the uh, plane <clears throat> okay now we will uh, make the uh, size of our object the uh, cube for our uh, pillow so on the uh, object properties on the uh, size of uh, x we will uh, make this uh, about uh, 300 centimeter and for the y I think uh, 60 and for the z I think 200 is good enough. <clears throat> so we have the size 300 by 60 by 200. So on these uh, polygons of this cube, we're going to create a uh, geometry. So let's go on the uh, segments X on the object properties. Let's uh, put the amount of uh, 40 for the segments and for the Z. 40 also and we will maintain the amount on the segment y for our scene on this side so we have now our cube and <coughs> we will create this uh, cube into uh, editable polygons in order to do that we have to select on this uh, tool or hit key uh, hit C on your uh, keyboard okay click on this one and now you can see here our object is now a uh, polygon <coughs> to check this out click on the uh, cube and the uh, selection here for the uh, polygon and now you can see that we can highlight or select the polygons <clears throat> so that's it and let's make a, a spare create spare <clears throat> move this up now we will select the spare and create spare into a polygon the same thing with the cube we will make this spare editable so click this one and our sphere now is uh, editable see this so go back to object and we will resize this sphere inside this cube so let's proceed to the uh, four window view and we have this perspective the top view right view and the uh, front view so first let's go on the front view and hit this scale tool <clears throat> and scale this sphere inside the cube okay and move this at the center make a little space on the uh, top and bottom of the cube and hit T on your keyboard for scale and also provide a space <clears throat> 
in between the uh, side of the uh, sphere and the uh, cube. Same here also on the uh, right view. Okay. Now we have our sphere inside the cube. And let's go back to the uh, perspective view. Now we have these two objects. All we have to do now is uh, create a uh, tags, simulation tags. To create tags, click on sphere, right click and select simulation tags select cloud collider for the sphere <coughs> cloud collider so that if we make this cube into a cloud it will collide on the cube now select on the cube right click simulation tags and cloud now we have the uh, tags on our object here the sphere and the cube. So select this tag, cloth tag on the cube. You can see down here the dresser and below we have the sim police. We're going to set the sim police on the cube side of the cube. <coughs> In order to do that, we're going to select the cube and hit this polygon and on the selection tools we're going to select loop selection. Loop selection will uh, select the loop of these polygons on the side. So like this. It's highlighted. So let's select. Click on the polygons on the side. And now the polygons are selected. See this one? The selection is looping on the polygons. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Back to select two and click on the uh, cloth tags and go back to the dresser and same police now it's time for us to uh, select this and set same police on the side of this cube and set and let's set this one click on it okay now you can see this seams is created on these polygons on the side of the cube now we can go now to the Drisomatic. Let's try to uh, check this in, or let's say change this to 5 centimeters. And if we, uh, <coughs> we uh, click this Drisomatic, it will form this cube into pillow. <coughs> that, that the, uh, the, uh, Cloth tag will collide on the cloth collider on the sphere. So check this out as we click this dress automatic. Bam! Now we have a nice fellow. You see that if you give a space in between the sphere and the cube, you can see a nice smooth edge. There's no bumpy or something jagged on this side. It's good. It's clear and smooth. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have our pillow, and maybe we can uh, delete this uh, cloth tags and the uh, spare. We don't need it anymore. And let's check our pillow. So you can see here on this corner, this it's it's not uh, smooth. So we can make this smooth by. Uh, creating a uh, hypernerves so let's click this one we will create hypernerves let's rename this uh, fellow <coughs> so click on the cube and drag this cube inside the uh, hypernerves so the hypernerves uh, act as a parent of the cube and the cube is the child of this um, hypernerves. So this is the hierarchy of our object. <coughs> so you can see now it's uh, smooth. So that's the uh, effect of the uh, hypernerves. So now we have a very fine smooth uh, pillow. 
now we are ready for creating a texture so let's proceed here on this box let's click on create and shader select v-ray bridge this one v-ray bridge and advanced material <coughs> now double click on this material I, uh, editor <coughs> now we have our diffuse layer one on the diffuse layer one we have here diffuse color textured bomb diffuse layer transparency diffuse option so we will not be using colors on this uh, fellow but we will uh, create texture image so to create texture image we are going to select click on this arrow and load image here I have some few selection of uh, <coughs> Uh, texture image and we will choose which one is the best for our fellow texture I think this one will work okay let's check this out okay mix this sampling into a uh, square and brightness into uh, let's say 70 and let's check out so we have our uh, texture material here and let's try to uh, rename this uh, fellow <coughs> now click on this material and drag it into the hypernerves or in the cube you can choose which of the two here you can put the the uh, the uh, texture material because if you put it on the uh, hypernerves it's okay it will affect it will affect on on the uh, cube because it's part of the hierarchy because it's the child of the <coughs> fellow this cube so you see we create texture if you move this the same thing will happen so the same thing you can create texture <coughs> so now we have our texture let's close this one and let's preview this on render Okay, we have a nice texture of our pillow. So, okay, let's proceed now to the next one. Let's try to create a floor. Here we have a default floor, but we will not be using this one, the foreground, the background. All I need is a floor, but I will use plane. So click here on the box and select plane. Let's rename this uh, floor. So click on the scale, resize this one. So we have the uh, floor. Uh, adjust this, move it like that as you like. Okay. Now we will create texture on our floor. Let's create texture. So create shader, V-ray bridge, advanced material. Double click. And on the diffuse layer, go to the uh, texture map. Same process on the uh, fellow as we make the uh, texture material there. Load image. <coughs> we will select the uh, floor, the wooden floor, I think this one. Let's try this. Open. Okay, let's adjust the brightness into uh, 70. Make this sampling square. And for diffuse layer transparency, let's move this up to 70 also. <coughs> mm -hmm. I think it's not too cool. light. Oops. Let's say, oops. Five. I think five is good. And the maximum strength, let's say, is eighty. <coughs> oops. Oh, 
Okay, forget about this one. Okay, we have a diffuse layer transparency amount of 5. And uh, let's put a bomb. Click on bomb shadow, texture map, load image, and choose this wooden panel. Yes, make this square and make this bump amount uh, about 0.5 centimeter. Okay, let's uh, remain this material <coughs> uh, floor and drag this to the floor. And okay, let's check on the render. Wow, we have a very large texture on our floor. And let's adjust this one <coughs> to large. Okay. <coughs> Let's adjust the floor and hit this material icon and drag down the uh, size of our floor texture. I think this one is good. Let's add more. Sure, this one is okay. And <clears throat> okay, let's uh, adjust the texture. Right, this is good enough and good so we have this <coughs> texture move this more like this okay mm. So we have our floor and the uh, pillow. Let's check this on the uh, front view and uh, adjust the uh, pillow <coughs> touching on the floor. Okay, and back to the uh, perspective. Now we will create our camera and Hit this one to activate and let's put some lightings. Hit this one for light and move our light upward and change the position of your light. Choose the uh, ideal position for your lighting. This. Okay, let's add some more light here. Oops. Duplicate, hit control and drag. And we have our duplicate light. <coughs> so Move this up. And let's make a tag on our lightings. Click on the light, right click, 
and select V-ray uh, bridge tags V-ray light the same on the other one V-ray light and click on the uh, V-ray light material and down here we're going to enable the uh, shadow the same on the uh, other one and uh, let's check this out how it looks hit render <coughs> So you can see now our floor with textured pillow and uh, the uh, shadow reflected on the uh, floor. And it's too, too much on reflection or luminosity on luminance I think on the um, fellow I think we can reduce the light remove the other one <coughs> remove this light and check this one <clears throat> Let's hit render again. Okay, let's adjust some shadow here. <laughs> Radius, let's say uh, eight centimeter. Okay, and for <coughs> the uh, reflection of our floor, we will add reflection and make this brightness 80 or uh, 70 and for the uh, reflection layer transparency let's check this out uh, let's say 70 also trace depth 4 ok let's close and let's check this on render <clears throat> now we have this uh, reflection of our pillow on the floor and I think it's good. Yeah, it's good enough. Let's check on the uh, Diffuse layer 2 <coughs> No, over here Brightness, let's make this uh, 80 Okay, now let's proceed on the uh, final render on uh, render to picture view Okay, and hit render <coughs> So this is how we uh, create a pillow on Cinema 4D with the uh, use of uh, V-Ray Advanced plugin on texture mapping.
on texture rendering, lightings. So this is the best uh, plugins we have on Cinema 4D. And these uh, V-Ray plugins can uh, give us a very cool uh, texture and lighting effects on our uh, 3D artwork. It uh, renders some great realistic uh, uh, image, uh, picture and video. Unlike the uh, native uh, Cinema 4D uh, render, uh, let's say, uh, material texture, uh, not so quite good. It's more like uh, cartoons effect or something uh, is missing. Unlike uh, V-Ray, everything is uh, fine, everything is cool. <coughs> with the uh, amazing effect on the uh, project you have especially uh, if you want to render some artwork into a realistic uh, effect of your project on uh, I mean a uh, realistic effect of your uh, texture on your project use uh, V-Ray So I think it will took us more than two minutes in a rendering V-Ray image. Yeah, because I <laughs> set this uh, resolution into a uh, ninety percent. Uh, the most common use a uh, seventy-two percent of uh, resolution, but this one I tried to put it into a ninety percent resolution. So we have our pillow and let's save this on <coughs> PNG, 100% BPI and hit OK. So this is our <coughs> pillow tutorial 101. Save. <coughs> okay, uh, until next time for my second uh, video tutorial on Cinema 4D. So, again, see you next time and bye.